time for healing. Let the member also touch. Let cancer of the ovary. Jesus is the healer. Yes, Christo, My name is Amebo Nambu Yamutoni. I'm from Mukono. Vude Mukono. I've come to testify for goodness of our Lord Jesus Christ. For what he has done for me. Before he came to Kakande Ministries to be prayed for by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. One day when I was getting up from my bed, I felt sharp pain in my lower abdomen. I didn't take it serious. But after some days, I felt again another pain and with a swelling coming up. In the lower so I had to go to Mukono Church of Uganda hospital to be scanned. This is the form, medical form showing was bearing my two name, Mebo Mutoni. On the screens before is a medical report from Mukono Church of Uganda Hospital. And it belongs to our sister Mutoni Mebo. And it's an abdominal ultrasound scan report. So she went to this hospital with a palpable abdominal mass. And when the doctors carried out a scan in this hospital, they found that she had a huge solid pelvic mass and she had loculated ascites. And they likened these findings to an abdominal malignancy. Probably from the ovaries. So I went to another hospital to Mukono Health Center branch of Murago. I saw the senior gynecologist. I showed, I showed him the results of Mukono Church of Uganda. Ultrasound scan. He, he saw the papers, he examined me. He said, now what I want you to do is cancer cells testing. He gave me consultation request note. And he told me to go to Ebenezer Clinical Laboratory in Kampala. This is my form. To show that I was tested from Ebenezer, testing for CA125. This is a medical report from Ebenezer Limited. And this is where our sister Nambuya Mabel went, having been referred by the gynecologist. So here she carried out a test called CA125. This is the test that depicts tumor markers in the body, especially those of ovarian origin. Now the reference level should be between 0 to 35. But when the results came back, our sister's tumor levels were 526, meaning they were greatly elevated, pointing to ovarian cancer. When the doctor found out the, the cancer cells were very high, he said he could not operate me from that hospital. He referred me to his other colleague, senior gynecologist. In Galilee Community General Hospital, Masanafu. Mugalili Community Hospital, Masanafu. When I reached there, when I took care, he also examined me. Na yeye nekebeja. He told me the man I'm supposed to pay. Na tegeza sente sente kedo kusa sula. Two point five only for operation shilling. Bubiri chini chini unuzo zakulongo sewa koka. Then the medical he said. 
Katnaka and Jesu Janja and admission, no compech tanda. It will be determined how long I'm going to stay there. She now sends a Kubanga Chilinamala and how much medicine I could take. Nadagarian Kanachinava and Cosesa. Indeed, I got the money that I Rafuna sent Ezo for operation is Okunongosa. Then I went to Galilee Community General Hospital. Ningena Mugalili Community General Hospital. This is the medical report. When they operated me, they removed the uterus, fallopian tubes, ovaries. After seven days, they discharged me. And this is the, the discharge form. This is a medical report from Gallery Community General Hospital. In Baluva Mugali Community General Hospital. Still belonging to our mother, Nambuya Mabo. Now, as she's described, she was sent to this hospital to carry out an operation to remove her pelvic organs, citing an indication of ovarian tumor. And as you can clearly see here, it shows that they carried out a TAH, which is a total abdominal hysterectomy, meaning that the uterus was removed totally. And also they carried out a BSO, which is a bilateral salpingophrectomy, meaning both tubes, fallopian tubes, and the ovaries were removed. Brethren, I became very weak. I could not walk. I was anemic. I was dizzy. I could not move. So when they discharged me, they gave me three weeks to go for review. After operation, they took all my uterus, fallopian tube ovaries to Makerere University Pathology Department. Jukira, Pathology Department. So when I went home after three weeks. When I went back to for review, in Galilee Community General Hospital, they gave me my results. The results and the referral for note. Showing that I was having cancer in my, in my ovaries. This is the form. On the screen before is a medical report from the Makere University Pathology Department. This is where our mother's biopsy was sent to confirm if she had cancer or not. So after examination, the doctors confirmed that she had papillary serous carcinoma of the ovary. And this was the confirmatory test, test to show that she actually had cancer of the ovary. And all this was before prayers by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. From there, I went to Uganda Cancer Institute. I Uganda Cancer Institute in Mulago. In Mulago. They did all sorts of tests. They did ultrasound scan. And they got various diseases in my abdomen. This is the form. Medical form showing bearing my two names. And the findings are there. It's a medical form from Uganda Cancer Institute. And it's an ultrasound scan report. Belong to our sister Nambia Mutonyi. 
Now when the doctors, after having confirmed that she had CA ovary, the doctors at the Uganda Cancer Institute carried out an abdominal scan to investigate the various organs. And this is the conclusion. The doctors found that she had mild right hydronephrosis meaning there was fluid accumulation in the kidneys. There was also mild ascites and cholelithiasis, meaning she had gallstones. These were also associated with the cancer. And all this was before prayers by the God Prophet Samuel Kakande. Then after that, I had pain in my body. I could not walk. They administered it to me chemotherapy. After first dose, moreover, they had told me I would take six doses. But after first dose, I felt so bad. I decided to come to Kakande Ministries to be prayed for by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. When I came, indeed I was prayed for. The first touch, I felt so nice as if I was from as if I was from one Sephia where I was get, getting suffocation to another Sephia where I was having fresh air. I felt strong. That time I, I took a bottle of Mirinda. Even I drank a whole bottle of water. From that time, I started feeling okay. Moreover, before that, I could shake even crossing the road. I would wait until when there are many people I then walk between them. Because I was taking care of myself. Sometimes I could wait when I see somebody crossing. Then I would ask for assistance. I could not eat. I had lost appetite. The bums were gone completely. <laughs> now you see me here, they are just coming back. <laughs> I can walk <laughs> after the prayers of man of God. <laughs> <I can walk. laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Where are I can dance. Even I have a waist of 18 old girls. After some months, I went back to Uganda Cancer Institute. Uganda Cancer Institute. Murago to, be, to be tested. Cancer cells. Moreover, from 526 to 0.60. That was after Nabi Kakande praying for me. This is the, main, the results, the first results I got from Uganda Cancer Institute in Murago. This before is a medical report from Uganda Cancer Institute. Belonging to our mother Nambia Mutonyi. 
Now after prayers, but I don't Prophet Samuel Kakande. Our mother went back to have the same test done. Which was the tumor marker CA125. And when the results came back, they found that it was 0 0.60. But brethren, remember. Previously, before prayers, but I'm going to go Prophet Samuel Kakande. Her tumor levels were so elevated, they were 526. Now, after prayers by Prophet Samuel Kakande, they went to 0 0.60. Which was way within the reference range. As the reference range is between 0 to 35. And this was after prayers by Prophet Samuel Kakande. Give Jesus a mighty applause. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Wave your hands to Jesus. From there again, I went and tested for ultrasound scan. For my lower abdomen. They found out that there was no more sicknesses in my lower abdomen. After prayers with Prophet Samuel Kakande, our mother still went back to Uganda Cancer Institute. And this is where they carried out an ultrasound scan for the abdomen organs. As you can clearly see her name, Nambuya Mutonyi. They carried out an abdomen ultrasound scan having previously had CA ovary. And this was a follow-up scan. So after a meticulous study of our abdominal organs, this was the impression or conclusion. The doctors found that findings were of normal abdominal pelvic ultrasound scan. And that there were no abdominal metastases seen. But brethren, remember previously, from the same cancer institute, our sister had been diagnosed with mild right hydronephrosis, mild ascites, and cholelithiasis. But now, after prayers by Prophet Samuel Kakande, findings of normal abdominal pelvic organs. Give Jesus an applause. Brethren, to prove to you more, this year, I went again to Uganda Cancer Institute to be tested again for CA125. There's a form here bearing my two names. The findings are there. 0.60 in normal, in normal range. And again, in, 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 in ultrasound scan, they found out the findings were no, the, of a normal person. Now, how I'm feeling, I feel so nice. I'm very happy. I thank Jesus Christ for healing me, for restoring my life, for delivering me. Even in Nabi Kakande for his endless prayers, May he live longer. I give glory and honor to our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm a 
Simatakai wa mkwano Waku wakalwa wakutuka Wendolo waza njimu kama ya kwela vya Thank you for watching this video. 